Good morning and welcome to another episode of Allie Kay's Kitchen where <coughs> I cough all over the food and give everybody coronavirus. No, I'm just kidding, but um, where I make simple recipes with simple ingredients. Today's episode is going to be a zucchini tomato. I had an orange in the picture too because I'm just going to throw that on the side. An egg scrambler. Three ingredients. Simple, e simple, easy, and delicious. So, if you're interested in learning this recipe, then follow along. Let me move you guys over here. Get you going right there. First things first. Or zucchini. Also, if you're noticing that I'm wearing this Cardinals jersey, it's because I'm from Missouri. Shout out to all you Missouri people. Um, and I love me some red birds. Actually, it's my favorite bird. Before it was my favorite team, I actually used to cheer for the Royals. Funny thing. We're going to probably just use one of these here, maybe even just a half of one. Because this is just for me. I already made the fiance his breakfast. He had spam eggs and potatoes like a little scrambler i would <laughs> put that one on the on the ig as well but you know i was actually cooking in some very not risque i guess you could say risque clothing i should have probably put myself on the internet like that so i threw on this here jersey and some shorts now we're gonna get to cooking so i just cut those suckers in half cut them in half again and then I get to chop it. All right. So there we have our zucchini. Perfect. Um, I think that should be enough for the, for the recipe. And then I'm gonna bring you on over here again. Sorry, I have yet to perfect this whole cooking thing in this kitchen. My last kitchen in Tennessee was so easy because like I could set you guys on the bar and then like cook with you. But here is a little difficult. So I'm using these Hawaiian made island eggs only here in Hawaii, Island Fresh. And I'm just gonna use two for this recipe. I'm gonna take this here measuring cup and um, crack my eggs in it. I'm gonna show you how I crack my eggs and y'all can do how you crack your eggs too. So I take, try to put you down here. Usually I do it on like something that's not gonna get messy, but I'll just show you. I'm a one hand cracking machine. Boom. All right, so there we have cracking the eggs. I'm gonna get me a knife over here, or a fork over here. And I'm just gonna whisk those puppies together like so. Boom. Okay, now let's bring it back up here. Hopefully y'all don't there we go. Perfect. And then get our get our pan on medium heat and throw in some extra virgin olive oil. Coat that puppy real good. First things first, let that kind of heat up because I haven't been letting that heat up and um, I should have been doing that while I was cutting the zucchini. But sometimes multitasking is not my best friend so okay all right so here we have our zucchini and we're just gonna throw that in the pan i think i'm gonna take a couple of these here cherry tomatoes and throw them in there as well, but not till the end. So I'm just gonna cut those in half. 
This here, this here Cuisinart's Elements knife is literally the bomb.com. Um, my fiance had it way before I even knew, you know, before I even came into the picture. But, you know, shout out to him because he's got good cooking utensils because this sucker is sharp. I mean, usually you have to have a serrated knife to cut cherry tomatoes. That puppy just goes right through my butter. So, there you have it. Got that for the, the side there. Um, I think while we're here, we'll just cut this little orange in half. This is actually a blue jay navel. So, um, I love me some red birds and I also love me some blue birds. So here we are. We got our red birds and our blue birds. I'm just going to cut that in half. That's just going to look nice plated um, once we have everything here, you know, cooked up and nicely done. I'm just going to plate that, you know, with my lovely, my lovely Ross wooden plates we got. These suckers are super cute. I think they were like, they're like $5.99 for, you know, one, like they were $10 for two, which is kind of steep. But when you're like me and you love to plate food and you, you feel food is art, I feel like you gotta have some nice plates. Um, another great, another great uh, tip and trick if you wanna have like, you know, nice aesthetic for when you're plating your food or taking the pictures is um, go to the Goodwill. Goodwill and like their stores and antique shops, those are your best friends when you wanna find like really unique plates to use for, you know, your place. Back whenever I lived with my mom, at the Greens Apartments in Springfield, Missouri. Shout out to anybody that knows where that's at. Um, I used every single thing I had that I would plate my food on was from the thrift store. And I got so many compliments. Um, the thrift store in Springfield's called Red Racks Thrift Store. It's a really nice one. So um, I really recommend that you guys go in there if you're in, if you're in Missouri. But we're going to get those puppies, you know, get them all nice and cooked up. I think I might be a little bit unhealthy today. Throw a little bit of this here, um, Country Crock original um, spread. I would call it butter, but I'm not sure this is considered butter. Anyways, it's gluten free, so we're doing good with that, I guess. I just need to get a little extra, you know get some extra flavors rolling up in there. So we got that. I think I'll have me a little drink. Honeydew melon, Aloha made. Um, yeah, I did not decide that I was going to put on makeup or do my hair today. So, cheers to looking like a bum. Quarantine style. Um, okay, I'm just gonna throw a little bit of um, garlic powder in there. Garlic powder is literally my best friend. When I, in a, a lot of my other kitchens, I will have like a garlic powder sucker that is like two gallons. I mean, or maybe a gallon, but huge. Cause I use that stuff like it's going out of style. I'm not even really sure if my fiance likes it or not, but I guess we'll find out. Cause I use it in just about every, every recipe if I do. It looks good for you too, guys. So, and ginger. Pick you some ginger shots. That's a great, great tip um, for this keeping your immune system, you know, up to par with all these germs rolling around. Drink you some ginger shots, okay? Get you some fresh ginger, and you know, throw it in a blender. Get you some ginger and throw it in a blender. I just made a wrap or a rhyme or something like that. That's pretty cool. I wasn't even, wasn't even going for this. That's why I love improv. That's why I just jump on these, this camera. But usually my favorite thing is getting on live. So doing like this, I explained last time, getting on here and doing it like where you have to pre-record and then flip around and like upload it, it makes me nervous because I like actually being live so I can be goofy and you know, people can make fun of me because I love when people make fun of me because I make fun of myself. But anyways, so I think that's looking pretty, pretty good. Those are our zucchinis. 
And then we're gonna turn it down to probably about, I don't know, medium to low heat. We're gonna take this here um, egg that we whisked, these two eggs that we whisked, and we're just gonna throw that here in the middle. Boom, like so. Um, as you can tell, that looks kind of cute. I wish I had another camera and I could have took a picture of that, but you know what? We're just gonna go with it. We're just gonna go with the flow. Um, and this is an egg scrambler, so we're just gonna scramble it up like you scramble eggs. And you just scramble it around them vegetables, get them all nice and coated. Eggs is literally what I've lived off of for the last probably four years. No joke. Eggs and veggie burgers and like, you know, fruits and veggies. But like, for real, eggs are so inexpensive and so good for you. Like, if anybody's all about that protein, eggs will give you protein, y'all. And I'm not, I'm not one of those health nuts. Like, I used to be trying to like get into that whole vibe, but really I'm not. You know, like eating this, like the egg whites or whatever. I eat the whole egg. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't know. I don't really know the technicalities of it. I'll just have to probably face on my sister later and ask her. She's very good with nutrition. Shout out to Victoria. Woo woo, my sister. She can teach you guys all about nutrition and I can act a fool. <laughs> okay. You know, I used to get offended when people make fun of me and people call me crazy and people call me like, you know, names and things. But you know what? I just embrace the crazy. I embrace the goofy. I embrace the weird. I embrace the nerd. I embrace all of those things that I used to be so scared to be because that's what makes me, me. So here we are. Here we are. That's what our little egg scrambler gets, looks like. And the reason why I save these here cherry tomatoes to last is because I don't like when they get all mushy. I just toss them in there just for a little extra color and a little extra flavor. Um, but I think I'm not gonna toss them in with the warmth. I'm just gonna throw this in my little bowl, this cute little bowl, this little white bun little bowl here. And then I'm gonna top it off with the tomatoes. And then I'm gonna take a picture and then I'm going to show you the finished product. So anyways, that is another episode of Ali Kay's Kitchen using simple ingredients for simple recipes. I think I said my, my catchphrase wrong, but you know what? It's okay. Life goes on. Anyways, I guess we'll talk to you later. Have a blessed and beautiful Friday. And um, yeah, toodaloo.